classification of constraints classification of constraints based on velocity constraints are divided into holonomic constraints and non holonomic constraints based on time it is divided into scleronomic constraints and rheonomic constraints based on inequality it is divided into bilateral constraints and unilateral constraints and based on energy it is divided into conservative constraints and dissipative constraints or non conservative constraints constraints the limitations on the motion of a system are called constraints or the conditions imposed on the motion of a particle are called constraints types of constraints constraints are classified as follows at first holonomic constraints constraints are said to be holonomic if constraints imposed on the motion of the system can be expressed in the form of a mathematical equation as f of r1 comma r2 up to rn comma t equal to 0 holonomic constraints are independent of velocities if a constraint relation contains velocity and upon integration with respect to time it can be made free from velocity then those constraints are known as holonomic constraints for example, the motion of a particle that is moving in a circular path in a plane, that is, vector i is equal to k, which implies ri minus k equal to zero. The motion of the rigid body as the distance between any two pairs of its particles remains constant, that is, mod of ri minus rj whole square minus c i j whole square equal to zero non-holonomic constraints constraints are said to be non-holonomic if constraints imposed on the motion of a system cannot be expressed in the form of mathematical equations that is if constraints relations are not holonomic then it is non-holonomic non-holonomic constraints are irreducible function of velocities for example the motion of particles that is moving inside a hollow sphere if gas molecules bound in a sphere of radius ri then the position of every molecule can be expressed as ri less than or equal to k scleronomic constraints constraints that are independent of time are known as scleronomic constraints Scleronomic constraints are also known as stationary constraints. General form of scleronomic constraints is f of vector r comma vector r dot equal to zero, or f of vector r comma vector r dot greater than or equal to zero, where vector r and vector r dot denote respectively the position and velocity vectors at time t. For example, for a simple pendulum with fixed string length, the position of vector of the box R with respect to the fixed fulcrum at any time t must satisfy the constraint relation. Mod of R whole square is equal to L square, L being the constant length of the string of the pendulum. This relation is of the form f of R equal to zero. It is independent of time, so scleronomic. Rheonomic constraints. If the constraint relations depends explicitly on time, then it is called rheonomic constraints. The general form of rheonomic constraints is f of r comma r dot comma t equal to zero, or f of r comma r dot comma t greater than or equal to zero where r and r dot denote respectively the position and velocity vectors at time t. For example, the constraint on a bead on a uniformly rotating wire in a force-free space. The position of the particles 
depends on time. Conservative constraints. If the total mechanical energy of the system remains constant during the constraint motion, then the constraint is known as the conservative constraint. For example, the constraints on a rigid body are conservative because the distance between any two arbitrary points remains constant or remains same. Dissipative constraints If the total mechanical energy of the system is not conserved during the constraint motion, then the constraint is known as the dissipative constraint. For example, an expanding or contracting spherical gas container. The motion of each gas particle at any time t is constrained by the in equation given by mod of r less than or equal to capital R of t, where capital R is the radius of the container. Bilateral constraints. If at every point on the constraint surface both the forward and backward motions are possible, the constraint relation can be expressed in the form of an equation. In such cases, the constraint is known as the bilateral constraint. Constraint relations are in the form of equations. The general form of bilateral constraint is f of r, r dot, t equal to 0. For example, simple pendulum with fixed rigid support with fixed length. At any time t, the constraint relation is mod of r whole square is equal to l square, l being the constant length of the string of the pendulum. Unilateral constraints. If the constraint relation cannot be expressed in the form of an equation, the constraint is called unilateral constraint. In such cases, forward motion is not possible at some point on the constraint surface. Constraint relations are in the form of inequalities. The general form of unilateral constraint is f of r, r dot, t greater than or equal to zero. For example, the motion of a train or bicycle until and unless brakes are applied to it.